People fight over text all the time. You know, digital drama is a thing. There are ways to avoid digital drama, but I think it's in a, it's mainly inevitable. You need to like get ready to like have something be said that you maybe maybe you won't like. On social media, you know, everything social-wise gets a bit more intense. It just causes so much unnecessary drama, I would say. Sometimes I need to take a break from it because sometimes it's too much for me. And then if there's like drama going on, I'll set it aside. And even though there are steps that we can take to reduce it, it's not gonna end. You can say anything over text, which you would never actually say in real life. It's so much easier to fight with your friend over the phone than it is to fight with your friend in person. That's a new thing. People can just hide behind, you know, certain accounts and certain places on social media and just say what, whatever they want to say. We kind of have this disconnect that I think sometimes social media can cause where it develops like a almost a tolerance for a lack of empathy. It's really important to think about how other people are going to take it because whatever comment you make could be seen by potentially thousands or millions of people. Now more than ever where somebody makes a rude comment and they get put on blast for it. You don't see the other person's reactions, so you just keep on going. You don't know if the person is sad. You don't know if they're angry. You don't know what they're thinking about you. Social media can be, can turn into sort of a negative space when there's a lot of like anonymous posting. No one else knows who that person is, so it creates a lot of like tension and drama within friend groups. In the comment sections of posts that, you know, are viral or popular, I'll see someone voicing an opinion and all of a sudden there'll be a thread of even hundreds of comments, people just arguing and arguing and not even knowing each other. You could get insulted very easily, like on your appearance, on your, like, just anything that you say, anything that you put out onto the internet. Something so small can escalate to something so big and as it escalates, the topic can completely change to something that's really big. People that I know actually worry about how many followers they have compared to other people, if they're not getting as many messages. When I see like the people around me getting into drama on social media, kind of makes me not want to be on social media. It just seems easier to not be a part of that. I have a couple of friends who are very close, but they fight a lot. I'll get screenshots of their conversation from both of the people just being upset and sending long paragraphs about how upset they are, and instead of talking to each other about it in person, so I've suggested both of them multiple times. I would say I'm more comfortable talking face to face because like on social media, it's hard to like communicate like a sense of realness and like emotions. The best way to deal with digital drama is to leave what's happening. Maybe it's a group chat that you're in, just to leave that because the more that people talk about it, the more that people are gonna think about it, and the more you might get into it and you might say more things. It is really easy, easy to get your feelings hurt, but you know, you just gotta like, it's just kind of, they're just hiding behind a screen basically. I think the best way to deal with digital drama and help mediate it is first of all, I always suggest talking in person because that's always easier. Avoiding confrontation is something that I'm trying to be aware that I don't do. A way that I can just disassociate myself from the negativity is to just not respond. 